Hey, this buddy consoling me. Nick again from the 93X FS Morning Show as part of Best Buy's Musical Instrument Stores Guitar Lessons Part 3. I won't be able to conduct the lesson again today. Uh, as you may have seen, uh, not in the best mood. My feelings have been hurt. Uh, an argument with my mother last night who knows nothing about fondue. So uh, today we're going to have Paul again conducting lesson three. And he's going to teach you about the first chords you learn. C, D, and G. <sighs> Paul. How's it going, everybody? It's Paul again here. Um, now, in your third lesson here, I'm going to be teaching you your three basic chords. Uh, your three basic chords would uh, be your D chord, your C chord, and your G chord. And what I start off with is using your fingers as guides. So your first finger would be, uh, your index finger would be your first finger, uh, your middle finger would be your second finger, your ring finger would be your third, and your pinky would be your fourth. And that's how we're going to reference it as I play your chord. So starting off, we're going to start with your D, take your second finger, um, and what you want to do is put that on the second fret on your E string. Um, for the other part, you want to put your, your ring finger on the third fret on your B string, and your first finger would be on the second fret on your G string. Kind of looks like an arrow shape there, so you kind of know if you're correct or not. So, what you do is all you do is hit your bottom four strings, which would be your one, two, three, four strings, strung down here, and then you got your D major chord. So, your second one would be C. What you want to do with the C is you're going to be using the bottom five. So you want to take your ring finger and put it on the third fret on the A string, which would be your fifth string. And your middle finger, which would be your second, would be on the second fret on your D string. And your pointer finger, which would be your first finger, on the first fret on your B string. And all you do there, also there's an alternative. Um, you got to hit the bottom five, but if you want to hit the whole fretboard, you also have the option of muting the top string here with your thumb so you don't really hear that as you're strumming the chord. And that would be your C. And your last chord would be your G. You can do it both ways. You can use your pinky or your ring finger to do the bottom one. It would be on your third fret on your first string, which would be your E string, your high E string. And I usually play with my pinky. It just feels more comfortable to me. And then what you want to do is you want to put your middle finger, which would be your second finger, on the third fret on the E string also, and your first finger, your index finger, on the second fret on the A string, and you hit all the strings on this one. And that'd be your G. So that's the end of lesson three. Um, here's just a quick uh, example of what you can play with all them three chords.